all secret stash locations currently available on the map customs in the current Escape from Tarkov patch. Greetings everybody, my name is TTB, I'm a YouTuber and content creator. You can catch me live on twitch.tv slash TTB if you have any questions or just want to see the action. Now, quick caveat before we jump into this video. First and foremost, if you are new to the game and you use the compass, uh, the compass is actually pointing beautifully north, but if you look at any map of the map customs, most of them will actually uh, have the north oriented towards the south, so that might add to some confusion. So what I'm saying is, don't use the compass. If will just get you all jumbled up so next thing down here below you will see the timeline this will allow you to jump onto any of the locations that i'm going to show you i'm going to use a map by monkey monkey monk and the numbers are added by dark axie and uh, without further ado let's go ahead and go across all the secret stashes on the map customs both in the old area as well as the new area and i'm going to keep the travel time in between as short as possible i'm just going to speed up the uh, content but uh, that will allow you guys to see where i'm running so if you're not familiar with the map there are a lot of new players in the game of the sales over xmas that will allow you to see where i'm going for everybody else just use the navigation down below in the timeline to jump to the corresponding number all right let's get going here first ticket stash we're starting right here at ruaf roadblock number one is located down here at the first set of pipes and basically you just go in between the pipes and uh, this little uh, piece of concrete there is your first secret stash that you can go ahead and loot once you do that thing the next best thing you can do is just push across below the next set of pipes and into this shrubbery here because this hides another secret stash number two all right from here on up we're going to number three All right, for your orientation, right over there, that building is called Crack House. You can find intelligence folders, for example, in there. This building right here holds some uh, various tool sets and uh, other kinds of industrial loot. And uh, over here, we have that little uh, sniper spot with the machine gun up top. And everything you need to do is just come here at this big stack of tires. And right in here is stash number three. Very simple. All right, here we are at stash number four. You don't see it yet because it's hidden. Um, for reference, right here is a nice little sniper spot in the construction site, it's called New Construction. Over here is the big building where Rishala can spawn. This is where the grenade launcher is. And this is where we just came from. A sniper scav is gonna be up here, so be careful of that. And a neat little thing that I like to do is just come up here, jump. You only need to press forward, you don't need to be running. And I like to loot this uh, big crate right here because it can have like bolts and all sorts of other nice items and then you can just go ahead drop down here in between turn around and there you see already the secret stash you can also crawl in from this side or you can crawl in from this side it doesn't really matter just make sure that you grab the stash i've actually found uh, a class 6 armor in this one once all right let's go on to the next one So, secret stash number five, guys. Uh, very, very simple. Um, we just came from over there. We ran past the uh, big building in your construction. And now we're right here in this little area where you find a lot of porta potties. And you can use that as an orientation. And you just move towards the uh, trains over here. And at this tree, you will find secret stash number five. Very simple. Once you do that, you just come over here, cross this area, don't go too far over there because warning snipers, you will just get murdered, uh, the game will just kill you, but we don't even have to go there, we will just go into the side here, and how to find the secret stash is very simple, um, if you just go from this warning sniper sign, it's at the first tree to the left. Just go into the bush and boom, there you have it, secret stash number six. With a potential bear capping, there's one. Okay, moving on to number seven.
So we've made our way past the trains and the rails and we're coming into an area called Old Gas Station. And right here, you will want to take a right. You can see the big old door right here. You can see the giving tree right here, medical bag right here. And nestled into this corner, secret stash number seven. Alright, we're coming up on secret stash number 8, very simple to find, this here is the bus station, 3 story dorms, 2 story dorms, and in front of it we have this blue container, and inside this blue container you can find a number 8. Just be wary when you go in here because people like to chuck nades in here, so make sure nobody's around. Okay, moving on to number 9, very simple, 2 story dorms right here, bus station right here, sniper scav up there. We just move along this wall, past this little bus station, there are buses, and uh, right here you will find a secret stash number 9, whoop, 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 whoop. here we go. How do you find this easily? Well, there's a couple of things you need to look out for, this jumbled pile of wood on the ground, or this uh, big boulder right here. Just remember, if you're coming from this side, look at the boulder and then turn to the left and you're already there. Once you know where it is, you'll always find it. Secret stash number 9. Moving on to number 10, also very close by. You go once again past the wall of the bus station and then you go for this jumbled pile of tires. And down here at the pipe, nicely hidden but not, not, not hard to find, number 10. Alright, moving on towards number 11, it's also very close by, we're just gonna go up towards these train carts right here. And as you can see this is a little section of area, you've got a gate right here, you've got a gate right here, this is new gas station, be careful, Rishala and his goons might be patrolling here. And you wanna go to this uh, post and at the foot of it you will find the next secret stash, number 11. From number 11 to number 12, it's also very easy. There's a lot of ways you can go, I'm just gonna show you guys the quickest way. Gonna run along the wall towards new gas station. Gonna stick to the wall, stick to the wall, stick to the wall, and boom! Oh, what is this? There's a fence in the way, but no worries, you can just jump here in between these to get through. This also works the other way, by the way. And here you have the next secret stash, number 12. Moving on to number 13, as I said, you can jump back. There's a couple of uh, fast ways to get there, not so fast ways to get there. Um, you can either run past the gas station this way, you can run through the gas station right here, or um, I'm just gonna show you guys the jump. So that way you can you can add a little bit of extra information to this video. Uh, maybe somebody will be helped by that in case you can't go through there. And basically what you will just want to do is... Um, actually this is a little bit high. <laughs> you gotta be careful. You can't crawl through there. It looks like it, but you can't. So what you can do is you can just jump this. And you can just jump, jump this straight or you jump onto the pipe. Jump over here. You gotta make some noise, but it's a fast way to cross. In any case, you're gonna end up at the side of the gas station. We're gonna jump the pipe, and in this bush right here, you will find a secret stash number 13. Boom. Alright, on to number 14. You might not necessarily want to, to do this jump, but in the interest of getting there as fast as possible, I just did it. There are other ways to go there, you could use the key for example to go through here, or you could go the, other, the whole way around. I'll leave it up to you. What's important to say also guys, this is not meant to be as a numbers guide, so don't go from number 1 to number 23, that's not a healthy idea. Alright, we're now here at number 14. Uh, for reference, we have the sniper scav towers up there. 
over there is the new gas station. And this is a spawn area. Over here you have a ZB12 as an optional escape for PMCs. Let's go down here into the pit and here we have our next secret stash, number 14. Well, on to number 15. So now we're approaching a cluster of four secret stashes quite close together. This is labeled as number 15. You're going to look for uh, this particular building which has some nice loot uh, a lot of the time. A big box over there with uh, bolts and nuts and whatever. And you want to go towards these pipes in between the buildings. And right at this spot you will find number 15. Once you've looted this, you just go below the pipes. This here is the exit ZB11. This is always open if you're coming from the other side of the map. And you want to run towards this pile of tires and the shrubbery next to it. And inside the bush you will find... Dup, 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 dup. I just went over it. Number 16. And once you do this, then you just go along the edge of the map straight on over to number 17, which is right in this corner. Impossible to miss. And very easy to get to. As you can see, we just run straight. And there it is. When you're looting this, be a little bit careful. You could get sniped from these windows. So uh might want to employ this kind of looting technique where you go on crouched, you press use, and then you press prone at the same time or shortly after. And this goes makes you go prone. That makes you a little bit of a harder target. So that was number 17. Now we're moving on to number 18. We're going to cross into this other area right here. Sniper Scav might be here, so be careful. We're going alongside the wall into the next bush right here. And there you already see it. Number 18. And here we are at the last cluster, the last five secret stashes. We're now here at this uh, power station. You can see the big power pylons. And uh, what you want to do is you want to look for this little wagon. And you want to go towards the blue wall behind it. And as you can see, nestled right here at this bush and tree, number 19. Now we go to number 20. This is notoriously hard to find, but guys, I want you just to memorize one thing. You just walk over this piece of blue wall and just follow it. Just go straight. And there you already have it. Walk over the blue wall, follow it straight until you get to this little area. Boom, you're already there. Number 20. Once you know where it is, once you find it once or twice, you will always find it. So don't worry about it. You could also use this as a landmark right here. This uh, big boulder. As you're coming down the road, you take the boulder formation on the left side. And from the boulder formation, you just wear off towards the trees. Boom. Between those two. Alright, moving on to number 21. This is at military base CP. That's a very, very easy one to find. It's also very close to a scav extract, so be aware that PMC uh, player scavs might go ahead and try to take this extract. And what you want to do, make sure to check this before you go around it. Sometimes people camp in there. You want to go back behind this dumpster, and there you go. Number 21. From there, we move on over to the area called Passage in Between Rocks. And we're going to go past that to the second to last on our list. Running like a crazed madman. Alright. You want to look for this uh, big boulder next to the fence. You will also see this pile of wood on the ground. And you just stay close to the wall and you can already see it. Once you know how these look like, you will always spot them. Number 22. And that just leaves one. 
number 23 and this is located right next to the best spawn if you're trying to make a mad dash for marked room everybody that plays customs a couple of times and tries to get into marked room you know this spawn by now it's right up there and as my character is running out of stamina after having used three stamina stems we're almost there. So, got this big power pylon right here. Over here is the power station, and there is the train. That's new gas. This is the way towards three story dorms. You spawn here. And the only thing you need to do is you come back into this area, and here at the fence, at the rocks, it's kinda hidden in between. Once you know where it is, you will always find it. It's sometimes hard to hit because you're very close to it, but you can't tap it. What you have to do is you have to take a step back and now you can tap it. Boom! Those are all 23 secret stashes on the map customs. Oh, and that would have been Green Gunpowder. Look at that. Nice loot. Hope this was helpful to you guys. As I said guys, I'm live streaming almost every day on the week twitch.tv slash the real ttb if you have any questions about the game, if you have comments, feedback, if you just want to hang out, have some fun just hop in and say hi. It's always a blast having you guys around. Let me know if I should make more of these maps. I also made an extensive one on Shoreline that I'm going to update soon with a couple of new locations. And I'm also looking to do the same for Interchange and Woods. Hope this was helpful to you guys. Once again, be careful. North in the game is not north on the maps. So as I already said, for example, look at where the north is pointing right here. It's pointing towards the uh, south eastern side on the actual map but this is the way the Makarkov maps were made in the beginning so um, disregard the compass or try and find a map that's oriented the wrong the right way but I would just disregard the compass guys get used to the maps play them and you will have no time and no problems finding your way thanks for watching I'll see you next time